Hello guys, Gus Plays from Gus Plays Games here, and we're going to be doing a champion build for Vi, the Piltover Enforcer. Okay, now we're going to start up with Masteries for Vi. We are going a tank build for Vi, so not a damage build, and it is Vi in the jungle, kind of tanky. Though Vi, even when she's tanky, can still dish out some damage. So, we're going to go for a 921 mastery page and you can look at the masteries here to see what you need to uh, level up and just copy this page yay okay next we're gonna go into ruins that I run on Vi we have attack speed and uh, attack damage per level marks armor seals magic resist glyphs and quintessences of life steel now let's get into the meat of it the item set that I run on Vi for jungle is I start off with a hunter's machete, four health pots, and a sweeping lens. You can have a totem too if you would like, depending on what you would like to do. Now we're going to make that uh, hunter's machete into a spirit of the ancient golem. That is your jungle item and it is going to serve you well. Now you have two options for your boots here. You can either go merc treads or berserker greaves. If they have AP on their team and you don't like being slowed, then Merc Treads would be a good idea for you. But if you want that extra attack speed, which does go well with their E passive, then go ahead and pick up the Berserker Greaves. Next up, we're going to get a Trinity Force on Vi. This is going to give her some attack damage, ability power, attack speed, crit chance, movement speed, mana, health, all that good stuff, and it's just all around good item. Now after the Trinity Force, we're going to get a Randoon's Omen. Now if you're facing mostly AP, which isn't going to happen very often, but it might, you might want to switch out this Randoon's Omen for a Spirit Visage. Okay, now after the Randoon's Omen, we're going to be getting a Black Cleaver. You can get a, uh, what's it called, Blade of the Rune King instead of the Black Cleaver, but I do recommend Black Cleaver because of the armor pin, cooldown reduction, and the health it gives you. After Black Cleaver, we're going to get a Banshee's Veil. Now, if you're facing more an AD-oriented team, where their only AP is their support, or they have no AP at all, which I've been seeing more and more lately, you can have, let's say, a Sunfire Cape or a Frozen Mallet there, just uh, give you some more armor or more health, because you're not going to be really needing Magic Resist on a mostly AD team, if you're facing a mostly AD team, I should say. Now, if you don't want to get another tanky item, because you are going to be really tanky after you get all these like health items and stuff, you can go for a Zephyr, which is going to give you some movement speed, cooldown reduction, attack speed, and attack damage. And as I said before, attack speed is really important on Vi, especially for farming with that E passive. So if you would like to go that route, I would recommend the Zephyr on her. Now, let's get into Vi's abilities. So, she has Blast Shield, which is her passive, and Vi charges a shield over time. The shield can be activated by hitting an enemy with an ability. So that's her passive, and you get it at level 1, of course. Now, we're first level, we're going to be putting into Detonating Blows. Vi's punches break her opponent's armor, dealing bonus magic damage and granting her attack speed. You're going to want to get detonating blows if you're just going to get that buff first and you're going to be farming. If you're going to do an invade, you're going to want to get a vault breaker for the invade. But I wouldn't really suggest doing invades unless you really want to. So, first uh, first point goes into detonating blows. Now, at level 2, if you would like to gank, you can get vault breaker, but I wouldn't recommend ganking to level 3. So, we're going to get excessive force. Uh, then, put your third level into a vault breaker then you can start ganking and your ganks will be pretty effective now you're gonna put your fourth and fifth levels into a vault breaker vault breaker is your main ganking ability until you get your ult and it is a good ability to max so we're gonna get that and of course at level six we're gonna be getting our assault battery now after level six we're gonna put uh, two levels into excessive force which is gonna make it better because excessive force is a lot your main damage ability. Uh, then we're gonna finish off a fault breaker on your next 
uh, point and your point after that you're going to be finishing off your excessive force at levels 11 and 16 again you're going to be upgrading your um, ultimate which is assault battery now uh, of then last you're going to be uh, maxing out her detonating blows you only need it really for her farming and you only need one level in it really so you know be maxing that out last now I forgot to explain what these abilities do so I will explain them now vault breaker Vi charges her gauntlets which are these giant hands um, and unleashes a vault shattering punch carrying her forward enemies forward enemies she hits are knocked back and receive a stack of detonating blows Vi's punches break her opponent's armor dealing bonus magic damage and granting her attack speed excessive force Vi's next attack blasts through her target, dealing da damage to enemies behind it. Assault Battery. Vi runs down an enemy, knocking aside everyone in the way. She reaches her target, she knocks it into the air, jumps after it, and slams it back into the ground. So, those are all of Vi's abilities. Now, I would suggest for your level 6 uh, gank, that you would go in with assault battery and uh, do that uh, then ex vault breaker them because they're gonna be like knocked back for a second and they're gonna be like not really stunned but like they can't do anything and that's gonna give you a lot of time in that area and it's gonna do a lot of damage because normally when you do your uh, ultimate uh, then you vault breaker you're gonna be able to get both excessive forces in in that time and you're gonna do a whole lot of damage to them and they're going to be like stunned there for a little while, not really stunned, but they're going to be staying there in that one place for a little while. So your, uh, whatever your lane person is that you're ganking is going to be able to get there in time to finish them off. So that's what I, I suggest um, to do in lane, and I would also just suggest to get this amazing skin, which I love. Such an amazing skin. Don't get this one. So yeah, that was Vi. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and I will be doing a Vi build in the future on her damage, but that's just a tank build, so I like to go her tanky, not Vi, not damage as much, because I feel she can do more late game if you build her tanky. So yes, this has been Gus Plays from Gus Plays Games here. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.